Hi, my name is Krista and I'm going to show you how I use the Innovators Compass for my development project, which is youth engagement in the community. I wanted the development work to be done by the youth itself in order to increase their community power. And the Innovators Compass is helpful because it is really flexible and it allows you to work with different people. So at the center, we have people who are involved. In my case, that's the youth. I am part of the youth community myself, and throughout the development of the project, I was able to share my own thoughts and ideas. We used observations to get a better understanding of what the community, or in my case, the youth, actually wants. As part of the youth community myself, I was able to share my own point of view, but at the same time, I asked other young people about their opinion. And this really helped us um, understand what the youth lacks and what um, their necessities are. So at principles, uh, we highlighted, highlighted what matters the most to the youth by asking where they spend their time, money, and energy. This helped us comprehend what the youth wants to do in terms of their own preferences, desires, and also their own development in the community. So, for example, uh, young people in my community, um, what's important for them is school, uh, hanging out with friends, um, sports, outside activities. And the more we know about things that are important to the community uh, or to the people that we are working with, the better ideas we can come up with. So um, ideas was about brainstorming in order to come up with different possibilities. We use the how my we questions and they were really helpful because they are action leading and at the same time they issue many ways to solve an issue experiments which is not about executing a full program but about how we can test out these different ideas and see what would work and what wouldn't so for example one of the how might we questions that I had and ideas was how might we engage the youth in the community in a way that values social distancing. And so we had to experiment uh, with meetings during COVID. And um, something that we could try was, of course, online meetings. But since not everyone was able to attend, that we had to um, look out, look up for um, different uh, for other solutions or stuff that we could do. Um, so we decided um, that maybe um, uh, having in-person meetings um, with less people or with uh, 10 people uh, in order to respect the social distancing and the anti-COVID rules would be a good idea. And as we were testing out this idea, uh, we also came up with um, better ways that we could um, improve it, such as making sure that each group had, had active people so they could motivate each other to talk. And also putting a leader in each group and only uh, and like sometimes only meeting um, the leaders.